One Nation One Integrated Transport Planning Agency, an ITPA like US, UK and Australia. India stands at a pivotal juncture in its developmental trajectory, where the optimization of transportation infrastructure holds significant implications for economic growth, social development, and environmental sustainability. Recognizing the imperative need for a cohesive and integrated approach to transportation planning, the Indian government is contemplating the establishment of an Integrated Transport Planning Agency ITPA, to streamline transportation strategies across various modes including surface transport, railways, shipping, and civil aviation. The proposed agency, akin to those in leading economies like the United States, United Kingdom, Germany, Australia, and Japan aims to enhance efficiency, reduce logistics costs, and improve overall transportation infrastructure. This report delves into the historical context, proposal details, rationale, and anticipated impacts of the proposed agency, aiming to provide a comprehensive understanding of its significance in India's journey towards becoming a global economic powerhouse. Details for this video has been gathered from various news reports of April 8, 2024, April 7, 2024 and November 20, 2023. Hi friend. Welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. We have observed that 97% of our viewers haven't subscribed to our channel. If you haven't as yet subscribed, kindly consider doing so, after watching this video, since it would encourage us to do more. Watch this interesting video until the end so that you will not miss out on all the details. Historical Context and Need India's transportation infrastructure has evolved over decades, driven by the imperatives of economic growth, urbanization, and demographic shifts. However, the development of this infrastructure has often been characterized by fragmented planning, disparate implementation, and suboptimal utilization of resources. Unlike some advanced economies, where centralized agencies oversee transportation planning and execution, India's approach has been marked by decentralized decision-making, resulting in inefficiencies, delays, and cost overruns. The historical evolution of India's transportation system reflects the country's diverse geographic, demographic, and economic realities. From the ancient trade routes of the Indus Valley civilization to the British colonial legacy of railways and ports, the transportation landscape has undergone significant transformations. Post-independence, successive governments have made concerted efforts to modernize and expand the transportation network, encompassing roads, railways, waterways, and air transport. However, the lack of holistic planning and coordination has hindered the realization of the full potential of these infrastructure investments. Unlike some leading economies, where transportation planning is centralized under a single agency, India's transportation modes often compete rather than complement each other. The need for an integrated transport planning agency stems from the recognition of these historical challenges and the imperative to adopt a forward-looking, strategic approach to transportation planning. By consolidating disparate efforts, streamlining decision-making, and fostering synergy among various modes of transport, the proposed agency seeks to address long-standing inefficiencies and unlock the latent potential of India's transportation infrastructure. Chronology and Proposal Details Though the rollout of Gaudi Shakti platform for integrated planning is getting traction, currently it's more confined to the central government projects. The genesis of the proposal for an integrated transport planning agency can be traced back to deliberations among policymakers, technocrats, and industry stakeholders, who have long recognized the need for a paradigm shift in transportation planning. The articulation of this need gained momentum in recent years, with policymakers acknowledging the limitations of the existing decentralized model and the opportunities offered by a more integrated approach. As per news reports of November 20, 2023, the proposal for establishing ITPA was prepared by a special group of secretaries, drawing inspiration from similar departments like Department of Transport in the U.S. and Department of Infrastructure, Transport, Regional Development and Communication, DERC, in Australia. Subsequent discussions among top officials of Nidhi Aayog and various ministries further refined the contours of the proposed agency, laying the groundwork for its institutionalization. 
The envisaged responsibilities of ITPA, including the development of five-year and 25-year transportation plans, regular monitoring, capacity augmentation, and coordination with states, reflect a comprehensive and forward-looking agenda aimed at addressing the multifaceted challenges of transportation planning. As per news reports of April 8, 2024 and April 7, 2024, presentations were made by three empowered groups of secretaries before Prime Minister Narendra Modi marked a significant milestone in the advocacy for the establishment of ITPA. These presentations underscored the transformative potential of an integrated approach to transportation planning and emphasized the need for centralized coordination and strategic vision. As per the proposal, ITPA would prepare an overall plan for integrated transportation solutions and get it approved by March 2026. Key Responsibilities of ITPA The proposed responsibilities of ITPA encompass a wide array of functions, each aimed at advancing the overarching goal of integrated transportation planning. 1. Development of long-term plans. ITPA would be tasked with formulating 5-year, 15-year and 25-year transportation plans, aligning them with national development goals, and ensuring their periodic review and refinement. 2. Regular monitoring and evaluation. The agency would undertake regular monitoring and evaluation of transportation plans, tracking progress, identifying bottlenecks, and recommending corrective measures as necessary. 3. Capacity augmentation. Recognizing the imperative to enhance the capacity of both passenger and freight movement, ITPA would conduct comprehensive assessments and propose strategies for infrastructure development and modernization. 4. Coordination with states. Given the decentralized nature of India's federal structure, ITPA would play a crucial role in coordinating with state governments for the implementation of key infrastructure projects, fostering collaboration and synergy across jurisdictions. 5. Optimization of resources. By optimizing infrastructure investments, prioritizing cost-effective modes of transport, and leveraging technology in innovation, ITPA aims to enhance efficiency, reduce logistics costs, and improve overall transportation outcomes. Ambitious Targets by 2030 The targets set by ITPA for 2030 reflect a bold vision for transforming India's transportation landscape and positioning it as a global leader in sustainable and efficient mobility. 1. Modal shift in freight movement, with a target of moving over 42% of freight via rail or waterways by 2030, ITPA aims to promote environmentally sustainable and cost-effective modes of transportation, reducing reliance on road transport and mitigating environmental impacts. 2. Enhanced speed and efficiency. The goal of increasing the average speed of freight trains from 24 km per hour to 40 km per hour and trucks from 25 to 40 km per hour to over 40 km per hour underscores the agency's commitment to improving the efficiency and competitiveness of India's transportation network. 3. Technology Adoption Leveraging advancements in technology, including digitization, automation, and data analytics, ITPA seeks to enhance the efficiency, safety, and resilience of transportation systems, ushering in a new era of smart and connected mobility. As per the proposal, ITPA would prepare an overall plan for integrated transportation solutions and get it approved by March 2026. Rationale for ITPA The establishment of ITPA is underpinned by a compelling rationale, grounded in the imperatives of economic development, environmental sustainability, and social inclusion. 1. Efficient resource utilization. By centralizing transportation planning and coordination, ITPA aims to optimize the allocation of resources, minimize duplication of efforts, and maximize the impact of infrastructure investments. 2. Synergy and collaboration. The integrated approach adopted by ITPA fosters collaboration and synergy among various stakeholders, including central and state governments, private sector entities, and civil society organizations, facilitating the seamless implementation of transportation projects. 3. Environmental Stewardship With a focus on promoting environmentally sustainable modes of transportation, such as rail and waterways, ITPA contributes to India's climate mitigation efforts, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and minimizing ecological footprint. 4. Enhanced Competitiveness 
by reducing logistics costs, improving connectivity, and enhancing the efficiency of transportation networks, ITPA enhances India's competitiveness in the global marketplace, attracting investment, fostering trade, and stimulating economic growth. Impact and Advantages The establishment of ITPA is expected to yield a myriad of benefits across various dimensions, encompassing economic, social, environmental, and governance aspects. 1. Economic Development Integrated transportation planning facilitates the efficient movement of goods and people, unlocking economic potential, fostering regional development, and promoting inclusive growth. 2. Employment Generation the development and modernization of transportation infrastructure generate employment opportunities across the value chain, from construction and manufacturing to logistics and services, thereby contributing to livelihoods and income generation. 3. Environmental Sustainability By promoting modal shifts towards environmentally sustainable modes of transportation, ITPA contributes to air quality improvement, carbon emission reduction, and ecological preservation, safeguarding public health and natural resources. 4. Social inclusion, access to reliable, safe, and affordable transportation services enhances social inclusion, enabling marginalized communities, women, and persons with disabilities to access education, healthcare, employment, and other essential services. 5. Governance and accountability. The centralized coordination and monitoring mechanism established by ITPA enhance transparency, accountability, and governance in transportation planning and execution, ensuring the efficient utilization of public resources and the realization of public welfare objectives. Support for Growth Story The establishment of ITPA is aligned with India's broader growth narrative, characterized by aspirations for economic prosperity, social development, and environmental sustainability. By providing a strategic framework for transportation planning and execution, ITPA supports the government's efforts to catalyze investment, stimulate innovation, and promote inclusive growth. Moreover, by enhancing connectivity, reducing logistics costs, and fostering sustainability, ITPA contributes to India's positioning as a global economic powerhouse, attracting investment, facilitating trade, and enhancing competitiveness on the world stage. Conclusion the establishment of an integrated transport planning agency represents a seminal moment in India's quest for modernization, sustainability, and inclusive growth. By transcending traditional silos, fostering collaboration, and adopting a forward-looking approach to transportation planning, ITPA holds the potential to unlock new opportunities, unleash economic dynamism, and elevate India's standing on the global stage. As the country embarks on this transformative journey, it must harness the collective wisdom, innovation, and resolve of all stakeholders to realize the vision of a vibrant, resilient, and sustainable transportation ecosystem that serves the needs of present and future generations. Stay tuned for further developments on these projects. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. My friend, if you have found any value in this video, then kindly click on like button as an encouragement to create better quality content. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network so that this information might benefit others. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel so that you will not miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you.